Saturvex. Uh, now, Saturvex uh, is prescribed in Canada, uh, and it appears as though the British government and or the Spanish government may also approve Sativex in the near future uh, for sale as a pharmaceutical in their country. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration found that Sativex, basically liquid marijuana, was safe enough to be tested on Americans and they approved a phase three clinical study. Phase three just means with human beings in December of 2005 to determine whether or not this under the tongue tincture spray was useful in relieving intractable pain in people with cancer. This study did not get started until 2007 and is still ongoing. There have been numerous studies with cannabis and tincture of cannabis uh, and pain that have shown that it is useful in relieving pain. Now, We've talked about under the tongue, we've talked about smoking, we've talked about vaporization. There's also the synthetic Delta 9 THC can be taken orally, just like edibles can be taken. Uh, and the main problem with edibles is that it's hard to tell whether you're going to get a dose that is going to just deal with the therapeutic needs that you have, whether it's going to give you euphoria or whether it's going to give you dysphoria. And you need to have a regular supply so that you uh, can be fairly certain that you're going to take an amount that will be the therapeutic dose and not an amount that will give you uh, dysphoria as uh, a side effect. Lastly, the curanderos who are lay healers in southern Mexico and Central America have used tincture of cannabis as part of their uh, therapeutic armamentarium for at least 200 years. The topical application of tincture of cannabis is useful, particularly on the small joints, the fingers and toes, in dealing with pain associated with arthritis. And the reason for this is that cannabis is both an analgesic, a painkiller, and an anti-inflammatory. And we know this not only from the anecdotal uh, evidence that we have, but also from thousands of studies that have been done around the world uh, with mainly with animals and sometimes in tissue culture. The International Cannabinoid Research Society has been around for about 20 years and they have uh, conferences each year that last for three days in which researchers from all over the world uh, talk about the results that they have gotten uh, doing basic science uh, studies. With any drug that a doctor is considering recommending or prescribing. They need to balance off the therapeutic effects with the side effects. When you talk about the treatment of pain, for many people, the opiates are very effective painkillers. But for some people, the opiates cause confusion. Uh, they make it difficult for them to concentrate, difficult for them to drive. Uh, they don't enjoy playing with their kids or their grandkids. It causes them constipation. With cannabis, for many of those people, they find that it certainly does not give them constipation and does not cause them confusion, provides them with sufficient relief from their pain that they can go about their activities of daily living, they can drive their car without uh, interference, and more importantly, they can have fun. They can play with their children, they can play with their grandchildren. So. I'm, I wouldn't necessarily say that across the board uh, cannabis is to be used instead of opiates, but I would say that for many people it can be used instead of opiates, and for others it can be used in conjunction with opiates and they can use a lower dose of the opiates and hopefully have fewer side effects. Now any therapeutic agent that we know of has some side effects and marijuana is no exception. The main side effect to the use of marijuana is from smoking it, and that's cough. So that can be completely avoided by eating it or drinking it, and it can be largely avoided by vaporizing. One of the things that's talked about a lot is that you can have a panic reaction, and that is certainly possible. It most commonly occurs in people who are novice users, particularly if they've been exposed to a plant that is very high in THC. Another thing that uh, people sometimes have is uh, paranoid thinking that uh, the police are after them. I've noticed that this is not nearly as common since it's become legal because the police aren't after them and so it may not be paranoia 
that people were experiencing, but an exaggerated perception of reality. And one of the, sh the uh, things that we've lost as a result uh, of the propaganda and misinformation that has been spread about cannabis is the fact that it has legitimate therapeutic value and we have discouraged research. We have dramatically discouraged research in this country and numerous other countries including uh, England, uh, Israel, Spain, and Germany are far ahead of us in terms of uh, the quantity of research that they're doing on the medicinal value of cannabis and this is particularly alarming in these economic times when we certainly could use the economic stimulus, the economic boost that would come uh, from uh, having pharmaceutical cannabis available in this country uh, as it is now in Canada and as it possibly soon will be in England and Spain. Jefferson said that this country would be in dire straits if we had laws that interfered with what we put into our own bodies. Are we not in control of our own bodies? medicine that patients themselves can grow. For people with cancer who may be facing thinking about the end of their life, to be able to grow a plant and work in the garden and, and produce their own medicine is very empowering and, and something that, you know, I think does the patient a lot of good. Marijuana is illegal and the government doesn't sponsor this kind of research. Now, in view of the fact that large numbers of people are using marijuana medicinally, I think it's a shame that uh, there is no investment in this kind of research. I think there's a very bright future for medical cannabis in this country. I grew up around drugs, but to me, drugs are a good thing. I walked into a building or went into a building every day, almost, of my first 18 years I'd had a 13 foot tall sign that said drugs. My father was a pharmacist and we sold medication uh, and as far as I'm concerned medication is helpful for people. I don't think that medication has a personality. It sits on the shelf until uh, you prescribe it for somebody. Uh, it has beneficial uses and has side effects and it should only be used when necessary.